Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome all the attendees of this session. It's now time to introduce the speaker of the day, Dr. Rajesh Jolly, Assistant Professor, Department of Geography, School of Liberal and Creative Arts at Lovely Profession University. With over eight years of teaching experience, he has published extensively, including one book and eight Scopus Index papers. Dr. Jolly has also guided many peers PhD scholars. Now, I would also welcome Mr. Safras Alam, an expert in geography and economics at Lovely Profession University with extensive teaching experience at prestigious institutes and passion for education. He brings valuable insights to our sessions. Now, I would like to hand over things to Dr. Jolly and Mr. Safras. Over to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, myself, Dr. Jay Jolly. I'm working as assistant professor. And today in this topic, we are going to discuss about the career interaction session with the field of geography. So we are going to start with this session uh, that is going to be co-guided by me, uh, Mr. Sarfraz Alam. He's the alumni of the LPU and he's a uh, one of the best placement offered by the LPU for two placements. And he's working as a geography lecturer in HM Global School in Uttar Pradesh. He has already placed in a package of more than six lakh by the school. And uh, I would like to welcome Sir Fraz uh, for you in the career interaction session of the geography. Thank you so much. And today we are going to discuss firstly about the school. So in this school, the school is already we have the school of liberal and creative arts in which the department is going to be social sciences and languages department of geography is a outcome based industry driven and research oriented curriculum design which is meaningful with the life projects building personal careers and in social entrepreneurship the department is also going to benefit it to the students for the competitive exams like if a student want to crack some competitive we are going to design in the curriculum in that manner that is in competitive courses also so department is going to offer a lot of uh, multidisciplinary courses in the stream of geography like we have a bachelor of arts honors in the geography we have a bachelor of civil services in geography also we have also masters of science in geography and master of science in geospatial sciences and we are also offering phd doctor of philosophy in the field of geography also so we are going to discuss in today lecture that what are the career prospects in the field of geography when the student is going to complete in masters of science and how this curriculum is going to be benefited to the student for enhancing their skills to get a better placement in the jobs and how they can achieve or crack the competitive courses so on the behalf of department of geography i welcome the alumni of this department mr safraz alam and who today we are going to discuss about the co program which is offered by the department of geography that is msc geography so this stream of geography is going to beneficial in number of placement drives which were given uh, by the department also which is given by the lpu for the students also so if we're going with the discipline of geography, now discipline of geography is going to be bifurcated in three broad categories. So in these categories, student can pursue their careers in term of physical geography. If they want to pursue their interest in the physical geography, he can go with the geomorphology, he can go with the climatology, he can go with the oceanography. And if he is interested in the ecosystem or geography or environmental related studies he can also pursue their career in these then he can also go for a new term which is known as a sustainable goals now these sustainable goals are going to link with the natural resource management now the technology of geospatial is very common and new to these stream so student can now use the application of these core programming core courses in the different geospatial techniques. Now, similarly, we have a second branch of geography, which is known as the human geography. 
in human geography we have a conceptual philosophical ideas like geographical thought how scholars are going to discover different ideas how economic geography economical aspects like human aspects we have economical aspects of the geography like physical activity economic activities so how these primary and tertiary activities are going to benefit for the planner for the economicist then we can also use the population and settlement geography so these are the core courses which are going to benefit for the student to choosing their career in the uh, geography aspects like if they want to use the regional planning like a town planner he can go with the courses of the regional planning and development regional geography of india if student want to crack the civil service exam there is a main paper of the geography of india then we have a new emerging tool in the geography which is known as the geospatial technology geospatial technology is very new and upcoming stream in the field of career in which student can opt a specialization basket in the geography in which they can have some specific courses like they have a courses of advanced cartography they have a courses of remote sensing gis and gnss they have a courses of application of geospatial technology it means that if the students have already studied some fundamental courses in the previous semester he can now apply these fundamental aspects in the application of geospatial technologies similarly we have a quantitative geography which is very fruitful in term of research in term of uh, planning art point of view then in research methodology student want to pursue their career in the field of research methodology so if you going to bifurcate uh, the geography as a subject in three broad categories so these three broad category that is physical human and geospatial technologies are going to provide a number of career prospects to the students to achieve their desired goal now student can opt their career goal not even in teaching not even in research in top of different organization which were already providing the application parts so today we are going to discuss these type of career prospects in the geography so the geography as a uh, program we are going to offer a new courses with specialized faculty at lpu we are going to offer some industry collaborations opportunities for the internship now summer internship is a new thing which is added in our curriculum in which students are going to benefit it with different organization as a expert or as a work profile in their career in which summer vacation students are going to have a intensive training in different organization like imd uh, punjab remote sensing center haryana space application center environmental research institute survey of india so these type of organization are helpful for student to achieve in their research opportunities then we have a infrastructure facilities like smart classrooms in the we have already classrooms with the ac is in this the classrooms are well equipped with the modern cartographic tools with gis and remote sensing lab meteorological lab field based equipments are there we have interdisciplinary approach like we have a dissertation in which student can apply some interdisciplinary from agriculture from planning point of view from uh, architecture de designs also so if student want to pursue their uh, career in these they have to focus that uh, the career should be started in which kind of uh, streams like if they want to pursue their career in industries as a geospatial specialization if they want to pursue their career in the research like in the ecosystem in environment in biodiversity so they have a different type of skills required so we are in the curriculum providing a lot of skill based uh, specialization in the courses which can enhance the student uh, for their skills for pursuing their goals in the placement opportunities like gamification of teachings use of debates in their uh, presentations summer internship mooc learning so uh, we have already our alumni sarfraz uh, sarfraz welcome to this online webinar uh, so first of all i would like to know that uh, in your teaching in your 
uh, when you are studying in the LPU, uh, there are a lot of dissertations, skills are there. So which school you think that it is more fruitful to you uh, when you getting there your jobs, when you play seeing some interviews, when you presented your skills in terms of uh, entrepreneurs. So how it is going to be benefit to you? Um, at first, I would, I would love to start with a, a thought of geography that geography is an earthly subject, but a heavenly science. What I supposed to be say, what I learned in LPU regarding like, you know, my career orientation programs, like what, what have, I, have I like uh, got from there? That is really a remarkable one in my life, which turned my life just like a youth girl that I, that I took. Because uh, when I completed my bachelor in geography, there what I got, like I was having big ideas, but I did not know that how to like uh, present myself in front of the world as a, like um, a thought of geography. So when I went to LPU, and especially I want to thank uh, Amandeep sir, who like, uh, approached me first uh, first and then uh, i joined L i just joined lpu and uh, the interaction that i got with the teachers over there like they helped me a lot regarding the field in geography and the like career in geography and like they motivated me a lot and in fact that was not the motivation only that those were the real words like real words it was uh, those words because what I came to know now that like really geography has a lot of lots of aspects in the career life. Like if you want to make a career in geography, so lots of things that we are having. Like uh, I'm enjoying my life now because uh, it's a great achievement that in a, in, like uh, in a very limited age you are being given the post the senior lecturer of geography in a like very well reputed school in Uttar Pradesh. It's just nearby the uh, nearby Delhi and we are giving very marvelous result over here. So. Yes, sir. Like I am being given uh, like utmost uh, respect over here, and that is because of that help you that who has given me that much caliber that I can present myself anywhere in in front of anyone, no matter how much the crowd is. Yeah. Thank you so uh, much, sir. Frost, uh, yes, sir. Frost, uh, one more thing that uh, we have tried to enhance the student a lot of skills, like we are giving some dissertations, like we are giving some yes. mini projects. So how you think that yes. uh, it is going to helpful in your career? Uh, sir, actually the thing is that like dissertation. When I went to LPU, when the task was given to me to complete a dissertation, I was totally new to that. I did not know the ABC of dissertation. Uh, Karuna ma'am, Dr. Karuna ma'am uh, is there, I think. and. Uh, she explained me and she just uh, uh, explained me that dissertation in such a way that I got to know about that one and later on, you know, sir, you helped me a lot and thank you so much for that. Like uh, you and Sajad, sir, and like all the teachers have helped me a lot. And now because of that dissertation, I can write any content, whatever you want. And I can present myself in the class in such a way that I am the hero of the class. Yes. Just because of that, because the, those dissertation work and the research work, those things are giving us like a way to present ourselves in an effective manner. See, everybody can teach, everybody can explain their words, but in effective explanation and, and effective like teaching in the class, that is like uh, that is the required in now like in today's era. So uh, this dissertation work has given me a lot to like the methods to present myself in an extraordinary way. Yes, it's helped me out. Sajad, uh, very good. Uh, Sir Fraz, yes. uh, already you have discussed that there are a lot of uh, placements. Like you are the one candidate in our LPU who has got two of our letters from the LPU. One is from the geospatial and another one is from the school. Uh, so yes. how you decided that you should be when you facing the interview in the geospatial. So what are the skills they are demanding? How these skills are provided by the LPU? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, actually, when I got these opportunities, no, at that time I was very, very, very much happy. 
I thought that like nowadays students were not getting a single option that time, but I got four. And uh, like one was about ArcGIS. Okay. So what I think like uh, the facilities, especially by the faculties that they provided us and they provided us the knowledge regarding the technologies that which are being used in the GIS. Okay. So what I think that yes, GIS is having its immense like you know reputation in the world. So uh, what I thought when I uh, like got to contact with this GIS subject, okay. So that time a geospatial subject, that time I was thinking for that I should opt like opt in. And now also I'm thinking for it. And that's why that I have chose my you know like PhD. I, I just wanted to choose my PhD subject like regarding this topic only because i'm very fond of it and that happened because of you know uh, the first one that yes sir thank you again because you inspired me a lot to opt this field in an effective manner and one more is there like who helped me a lot that is roman sir in the initial one okay but later on sir you guided me a lot regarding this uh, subject this uh, like discipline that is geospatial and uh, like uh, LP is providing, providing like good equipments over there, but that time, sir, when I was there, no. So something was like, uh, like you know, that we were having there uh, regarding the technologies there. So, uh, and that time, like we are belonging to the COVID batch, so we were not able to explore those things like practically, but the LP faculties, they like, uh, uh, conveyed all the discipline or all the knowledge of regard, regarding this discipline in such a way that yes we are like 80 percent done with this uh, subject and with this discipline yeah good very good sir Fras. actually we are continue with the same pipeline now in every year we have a one student with the highest package salary package placed uh, now recently udit barua is already placed uh, in Guwahati Municipal Corporation. He has chosen the geospatial as a career. Now, second uh, recent one is the, uh, uh, we have the scholar or the student, uh, that is Chitra. Chitra is already uh, selected as a geography educator in Vidya Shilp Academy. Uh, she is already getting a 6.6 .6 lakh package in starting. So oh, now it is, but uh, the student feel that they are going to change in the curriculum of student with a course introduction of the geospatial. So do you think that uh, these type of new technologies like geospatial is going to be part of the school curriculum also? Because nowadays a lot of case studies are going to be implemented in the curriculum. Now skills oriented courses are more. So student skills are going to be enhanced if you are going to put in the curriculum also. So what are your viewpoint for that? Uh, yes, actually, uh, like uh, a few days ago when I was teaching my class, the geography class here in class uh, 11th. So there, like a student came to me, sir, what is this geospatial and what is this satellite that you are that you are speaking about? I just conveyed his that message that this is one of the richest, this is going to be one of the richest course in the world. Because this course is going to be the, like going to be demanded like in a like worldwide level. So like I think yes, in the coming time, this discipline is going to be the part of the school curriculum, like in the you know class eleven and class twelve also. And this if this thing is being applied in these like schools or uh, like in in, in in every colleges, yes sir. So uh, it is going to be give uh, like give a new thing not to the university or not to the school only it is going to give a new thing uh, to the country so i think yes uh, this discipline is going to play a vital role for the development of the country because it deals with the like you know uh, satellites and satellites uh, we know that uh, how important it is for us you know, regarding the like knowledge regarding the uh, you know, earth or any like you know activity which is happening on the earth or it is happening like uh, inside the in, in the country or or the you know uh, overseas so we can get get these things uh, very like easily 
so, uh, like a few days before i was just watching a movie and there uh, in that movie sir like uh, one task was given to drdo that we all know about drdo sir so drdo like uh, uh, they invented one tool, like you know like a remote sensing based equipment and given the name garud and with the help of that like like you know like they uh, intervened into the uh, another country's like in area and and discuss about that and like researched about that so these things if we are doing a lot if we are doing in this uh, in this lower level so automatically it is going to give uh, like you know renaissance in the uh, uh, geography uh, field yes yeah, thank you sir fraz we will going to continue and uh, we are going to give uh, now continue with the ppt ppt is visible to you also yes 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 okay so we are going to already discuss about the curriculum highlight which is going to provided by the lpu to building the skills that is going to be helpful for the student for career goals in that now we have the map the core core courses like we have discussed about the some physical courses and the human geography courses and geospatial so these courses are mapped with the advanced to basic levels which is going to helpful by extra curricular activity like industry based projects we are giving case studies summer internship and dissertations interdisciplinary projects elective baskets like geospatial is going to give a new basket for the specialization like semester exchange programs then opportunities advanced and customized programs so these type of core strength are going to be helpful for the career uh, goals in the students so now we have a career pathways like student can opt for the geospatial project manager scientist surveyors consultants consultancy is a new field which is coming for the student that is gis consultancies then higher studies post graduate student can go for the doctorates for the specialization stream in the fellowships now if you going to bifurcate the uh, geography now this geography is going to bifurcate in number of applications in number of streams where you can provide it your application part like suppose if you are going for the teaching and education you can work for a consultant also education consultant uh, flood modular hazardous risk analysis higher education you as sir fraz is already working as a lecturer then you can be a primary secondary teachers you can work in mapping with a post of cartographer with a post of a, a gis consultant with a post of gis analyst so there are different uh, with the skill you are going to map then environment point of view there are a lot of jobs are coming like environment consultants consultants uh, recycling officer air quality analysis conservation officers uh, then we have a, a lot of uh, uh, changes in the climatic change which is now a top most subject and which is now a top most priority by all the organization that what we are going to analyze in the climate and the weather studies so there are a lot of jobs which are coming in term of conservation officers in term of uh, weather and climate development economics international aid workers tourism and travel tour, tourist guides are also going to take out the help of them then we have a lot of uh, new streams coming in the urban planning point of view like we have a smart cities concepts are coming now these smart cities concepts are more applicable for the post of different specialization like town planner so town planner with the use of geospatial is going to be a best combination so if students are already capable with their town planning study and they are having a geography background and they are skilled with the geospatial he is a full time package for these type of job quality surveyor property manager surveyor posts are also coming for the uh, career streams in the geography so now students sometimes going to ask that what a gis is gis is a part of geospatial technology in which information is gathered in the computer based software which is going to analyze on the map that computer is going to read out the map analyze on the map and give you results on the map so this is a short form of the gis gis full form is geographical information system 
which is a, a software based uh, information derived from the uh, users. So a lot of softwares are there, ArcGIS, QGIS, and uh, MapInfo, GeoMedia. So there in market, we have a lot of uh, GIS software which were running. So Sir Fraz, uh, when you are going to have your curriculum or teaching in the MSc Geography, uh, you are specialized in which kind of software in GIS modules? Uh, sir, ArcGIS. ArcGIS. So I think that in market, the main market which is going to capture by the geospatial, that is ArcGIS software. Because nowadays it is very convenient and easy. So what kind of skills you learn in the GIS? Uh, so actually, like when I was there in MSC, you know, so, uh, at the initial, we started with the QGIS and after that we got with uh, ArcGIS. And in ArcGIS, I have, like, I have learned a lot, like how to like map uh, map an area which is suffering from or like uh, suffering from any uh, disaster or you know like the area which is like uh, far from the rivers okay and how can we uh, like denote those areas like which are uh, types of settlements which are having type of settlements for the uh, like uh, greenery areas like forests or the agricultural areas so like i got to learn about these things so like now i can like you know uh, map these things very easily and one more thing, very interesting thing uh, that I got, like a uh, very interesting thing, uh, you know, like plotting my address, like my location, uh, like uh, in the, uh, with the help of ArcGIS, like plotting my address in the uh, GIS software, like pinpoint that one, that location that I can do like by myself. And uh, it, and that may like provide me in, uh, you know, an opportunity or like an, uh, a good way to order like these stuffs online. It, it will like, it makes my uh, uh, address, my destiny, like where I'm, where I'm, in, where I'm living nowadays, like it makes my uh, place very much identifiable like by the delivery boys. So I use that one. <laughs> that is good one because uh, I think that in your curriculum, we have designed the course like that, that you are going to apply all what you learn, like application part, like if you mm -hmm. want to identify the villages affected uh, due to flooding, so you can identify the villages which is which is going to affected due to river flooding, then you can identify the villages which are going to affected due to the expansion of the highway. So yes. a lot of mapping work is going to be helpful for you. So similar type of curriculum we are going to now revise as per the industry requirement. So these are the industry requirement which were coming for the new job opportunities. Now, if they want some GIS analysts, they want that if the government is decided to expansion the highway. So what are the new villages which are going to affect it? So these type of technologies are going to be helpful for the student to building their careers. So uh, now I'm going to start with the next slide. Uh, that is the GIS application. So we have already discussed that now this software is going to apply a number of application modules like network, like land management, uh, like uh, facility management, uh, like topographic analysis, like site selection. Sometime government decided uh, there is a lot of problem in the smart cities that how to dumping these waste. So municipal corporation is going to hire large number of geospatial experts for which purpose? for purpose to identify the suitable sites for dumping of their waste. Because now most of the urban centers, they are facing a problem of dumping of the solid waste. So this site selection, which is going to learn by the students during their curriculum, is going to benefit to identify and speak out in the uh, job interviews that we have learned these skills and these skills are going to be benefited to identify the suitable sites for the solid waste dumping. So I think that these type of uh, part of the curriculum will definitely benefit for the student to building their career in the different specialized streams and the departments. Like if you're working in the land management, if you're working in the forest department, if you're working in the uh, meteorological department, climatic change analysis, so these are the different application of remote sensing and GIS, which can be helpful in number of departments. Now, 
you are not going to be fixed your career in only teaching you can now broad your career in the planning department you can broaden your career in the forest department you can broaden your career in the meteorological department in the groundwater department in the coastal management department in the Na national institute of disaster management by linking the disaster management by pollution control board you can manage the air quality so not shall we can say that that if you learn a geospatial techniques then you can apply your geospatial skills for the application of these type of disasters which were coming to the next phase to the earth so that is a more important for term of a geography like if you want to study the land use land cover change detection in any area then it is very benefited for so because this map is showing only the land use land cover change direction mm -hmm. then if you want to identify now what is the main problem in the forest area that forest area we have a pin point of the forest fires forest fire pin point is given by the forest department center forest department but now the state forest department required the person of geospatial who is going to create a buffer to identify that wind direction in this side and this much area of the forest is going to be burned so this type of application is definitely going to helpful for the student to building their career in the forest department as a post of gis analyst so these type of works are coming for the so we have a lot of satellite images which student can go through in their curriculum to strengthen their skills identify different application part now there are some studies which were coming like if you study about the uh, polar airs melting of the glacier now you can do we have a software of history or observation they are going to regularly monitoring and they are already going to hire persons which were having geospatial skills in climate change studies now there are uh, one more uh, disaster which were coming to the earth that is uh, sea level rising so which is going to affect it that the coastal area so government is now decided for the coastal zonal mapping that which area is going to be submerged at which time period so application of remote sensing in sea level rising is also going to be then the next disaster which were going to be covered that the event of disaster that the which area is going to be occur with a large number of disaster like landsliding uh, like forest fires like we have a change in climatic disturbances so these type of study sometimes we are going to study about the ph level study in the reservoir we have a dam we have a reservoir now these dam and reservoir are going to fill with the siltation due to erosion activities so these type of uh, studies are going to helpful for the students to building their career in the geography in the skills oriented for the geospatial now they can use these skills in number of factors now in these streams lpu or department of geography has some placement stories and internship initiatives by the department in which we have the first 3 uh, year sarfraz which is already placed in the lecturer in geography he has pursue his career in the higher studies also udit barua who is already placed in assistant gs technician he is working in with the municipal corporations to identify the geospatial solutions for the municipal corporation for different geospatial hazards then we have a last year placement of chitra who is placed as a geography educator in vidya shilp academy so all these students are placed with more than 5 lakh package per month in their respective jobs so we are going to think that if you are going to enhance your skills and revise your curriculum it is going to benefit it for the student who is achieving their goals in the career so sir fraz what do you think that uh, what improvement should be required to revise the curriculum and what should we do as per the industry requirement coming mm -hmm. sir so actually i just want to reply with this one that in our changing world 
nothing changes more than geography i think that you believe this one also sir yes yes like that so what i think sir ki uh, what that lpu is doing uh, in this geography field so like uh, it should be continued and it should be more effective and uh, uh, one thing that i want to say like sir uh, geography is a key which holds uh, geography is a key which holds the key to the future so by keeping this thing in our mind like we should that focus like mainly in our Uh, like in uh, GIS subject, so because GIS is having like a very good future in the upcoming era, because uh, as you have highlighted about the benefits, uh, as the benefits of GIS and you know uh, like how the technology is getting like improved day by day, like day by day, like lots of applications are being introduced by the uh, uh, researchers. So these things are going to be like you know like a very effective. Uh, you know equipments to deal with the problems like problems like environmental problems or uh, any like you know although that we are suffering from lots of pollution air pollution uh, land pollution and then water pollution and lots of lots of the things that we are suffering from if you want to highlight these things and if you want to like you know look uh, you know pinpoint these things so at least we have to uh, like improve our applications and that we are doing a lot and by utilizing these things in our practical life we can mitigate uh, the the possibilities of you know disasters or the hazards in the coming uh, era as you know that's a asia we all know about asia so asia is the uh, like is the uh, continent almost 60% asia and africa almost 60% of the like you know total uh, disasters which is happening in the world almost 60% is faced by asia and africa you know and one more thing that i want to highlight that asia uh, like is one of the very populous continent so if we are ignoring if, if we are not like taking care of these things so in the coming time we are going to face not only disaster it will be accompanied by the hazards and which is very very harmful for the future a futuristic life so i think yes sir we should uh, improve more and more uh, in this uh, field so that we can identify any problems i know that sir like we know that we cannot diminish it we cannot finish it 100% but we can mitigate the impact of that so mitigation should be the first way or the first measure of the researchers and if it is taking care by the lpu so you know this is the best thing that is going to happen yeah. and lp can do and lp can do this that and thank you thank you dear and uh, we were going to continue with the uh, we have the placement uh, stories now in the uh, next year uh, we have the student who has decided to pursue their career in different organizations now we have already some first year student they have already gone for the summer internship summer internship that is going to be provided by the lpu to the students to choose their career in their respective goals so student can work for 6 weeks in that organization to improve their skills to improve their skills in their organizations and it is going to be benefited for the students for their building careers and for their skills so friends you want to you want to improve this one that how summer internship is going to benefit it for the student to building their skills uh, so actually i also wanted to participate in that but unluckily like you know uh, i like uh, you know i'm already working in an institution they did not allow me to go over there and this time i have like planned uh, you know that if in the summer uh you know in the in the summer if i'll be getting some leave so i will be there because sir i i just like the environment that lpu provides and uh, the knowledge that lpu lp provides so if like if like a students are coming for a short term it does not mean sir that like it's a short term 
help you always like you know they always desire to provide or to like you know enlighten the students with the perfect knowledge even they do not they do not care about time what they do care they do care about the quality education if students are coming over there for that yes i'm hundred percent sure that they are going to learn lots of things and they will be inspired towards geography this is my words that i that i believe yeah thank you thank you sir pras and uh, we are going to that this student have already decided to pursue their career and now students are more uh, tilted toward the geospatial domains because this domain is going to be work in different versatile department where they can get the offer letters also now we have some glimpses or the photographs of the student who are working in the field with the use of modern tools like gps so they are trying to map the campus map uh, with the help of uh, field based studies uh, with the use of uh, gps instrument so they try to pinpoint the coordinates and uh, they were trying to identify that how navigation is going to work on that how to identify the new places with the help of gps how direction is going to work how to identify the height of the place from the mean sea level so these type of skills we are going to enhance the student in term of student choose the career as a surveyor so we are going to provide the training for the student to building their career in the field of surveying also because surveying is now a more demanding jobs in term of uh, placements also now we are going to strengthen the student skills by creating more industrial visits uh, particularly to wired some specific uh, centers like uh, punjab remote sensing center uh, like land record systems uh, punjab land record system so we are going to have frequent industrial visit to strengthen the student about the industry exposure how they work how what kind of job requirements they are offering what kind of skills they are going to and students are going to benefit it some time of competitive also and side by side we are going to have some educational visit to different educational site like dam reservoir wetland region so which is also going to be benefited for the student and uh, we have a lot of conferences and workshop uh, like uh, if the student is going to participate uh, their paper presentation in the conference we have one international conference on clean world water good health sustainable cities and communities uh, that is the previous year 18 to 19th october 2023 it is an international conference uh, where international speaker is there to elaborate the new concepts and new technologies and uh, job prospects in the field of geography even uh, the keynote speaker uh, king saudi uh, al adrusi they have also introduced that now geospatial domain is more demanding even in the countries of egypt and saudi arabia they are also have some journals which is also geospatial in the uh, stream so we have uh, concluded this session and uh, sir fraz uh, do you want to elaborate your skills uh, what you want feel that when you working in the industry that it should be lagging in you while doing the work uh so actually that uh, on reply with that the study of geography is about more than just memorizing places on a map it's about understanding the complexity of the world like sir what uh, what i think that like whatever the knowledge or whatever the you know like i'm aware of the systems of geography or whatever the like technology that i'm aware of the geography uh somewhere i am having some lacunas that i cannot like you know access all the like uh, updated technologies so i want that like very soon i am going to join that like lpo and uh, as i ha i have already told like that i am i am going i like, am pursuing my phd from Jabra, from lpo itself and and i'm going to choose the site which is regarding like which will be related to the uh, gis so yes what i want i want ki like uh, like i should be having that much knowledge that i can access all the updated applications which are which like which is
related to the GIS networks. So yes, sir. Like uh, somewhere I'm having lacunas, but that time it was the lack of like it was the it was the you know uh, the cause or the reason was not the LPO. That was the reason was because of that COVID era. So I was not able to gain or uh, gallop those things like which would have been like given me more efficiency. But now I want yes, like in the coming time as LPO is also updated. And if it's going to be updated like uh, later on also, so like yes, uh, I will be there, and I'm going to join LPU, and I'm I'm going to learn that those things which I have not got yet. Okay, what type of uh, extracurricular activities which are going to benefit it for you when you join the LPU? Like some extracurricular activities are there. Extracurricular. Uh, I have participated in different organizations and I got the, you know, that uh, knowledge of running an organization and, and see, now I'm like the uh, head coordinator of the school now. Like I have been given one more post that is the head coordinator next to the principal. Like they are giving me a lot of opportunities. Why? Because LPU has given me that much immense, like effective uh, characteristics that I'm portraying over here. See, uh, anchoring part that I have also done there in LPU, uh, and people who are also like, you know, they were impressed with that. I got the uh, Bollywood stars and the, uh, like, you know, Punjabi stars, okay, the local stars. Like, I used to interact with those people also. So, the things that I got there, one of them is the interaction. Like, interaction and communication, like, this is also playing a biggest, like, a, a good role, like, a vital role in deciding a career. Like, we should know that how to project ourselves in front of the people or in front of a laureate or in front of a person who is, uh, like, having much more qualities and much more calibers. So, yes, I got that one from LPO and I'm happy for that and thank you, LPO, and for that. And see, the one more thing that, that I want to highlight. I'm really impressed by the Chancellor ma'am, it is Mittal ma'am. She, now whenever she used to come over there on the stage and the interaction that she used to do, the way that she used to interact with the student, it was really a marvelous one, a remarkable one. And you can say like, it can like inspire the students that yes, you can interact like that, no matter the, about the crowd. Maybe the crowd may be of thousands, or maybe the crowd may be of lakhs, but you should not hesitate. You should go ahead with the one and that I am doing over here, and I am hoping for the like in the future time I should, you know, uh, go with the larger and larger and larger crowds. And this is the like very um, uh, important asset that I got from LP. That is a wonderful that Sir Fraz. Uh, you have all correctly said that ma'am has already building a spark to the student to yes. speak out their uh, problems, to speak out their prospects, to speak out there loudly. So that is why now students are achieving the higher goals in their career. So mm -hmm. now we are going to have a lot of placements now in the recent uh, year. We have 100% placement in the geography. So that is a remarkable because of the initiative that is already taken by the chancellor ma'am. That is a wonderful achievement for the placement of the student and the person. So I think that uh, we have a wonderful session in the yeah. career prospects in the geography, and uh, you have a good viewpoint about the uh, uh, how to choose the career, what are the skills required, what are the skills provided by the LPU, and what are the skills student can learn from the other institute. So that is a wonderful. So with this viewpoint, we are going to conclude. Uh, Simrat, my voice is audible to you. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, we have already concluded the session. Now hand it thank over you. to you, ma'am. Thank, thank you, you so much, Dr. Jolly and Mr. Sarfras, for your invaluable insights and contributions to today's session. So experts, your year of research, your depth of understanding the topic, and your ability to present the topic in such an interesting way produced one of the most wonderful afternoon for all the attendees. On the behalf of all the attendees of this webinar, I would like to thank you for your insightful presentation. Hopefully the attendees found this webinar to be valuable and will be able to utilize the information provided in this webinar to help 
take a better decision regarding your admissions. I am obliged and once again thankful to Dr. Jolly and Mr. Sarfraz for strengthening this platform. Signing off for the day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sarfraz. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.